We listened to all of Wilbur Soot's Your City Gives Me Asthma album on the channel, broken up into multiple episodes. And, of course, we listened to his song, Losing Face. And on that episode in particular, a lot of people left comments saying, hey, there's actually another version of the song that I would love for you to check out. There is a demo version of it. And... Earlier this week, I thought I did the right version of it. It was the Wilberson Losing Face Drunk demo, and a lot of people commented, hey, uh, you should go listen to the other one. That's actually what we meant. So I figured, and I asked in that video, hey, there's this version, do you want me to react to it? And overwhelmingly, yes. So we're going to be listening to that one today. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well and hope it continues to go well. Today, we'll be listening to the Losing Face Late demo that was uploaded by the House of Good Living channel. This is the CMYB demo, which we don't know what that stands for. Apparently, it stands for Cocaine Makes You Boring demo. But we'll be listening to that one in case you want to check out the other one I did earlier this week week and or any of my other world percent reaction videos there will be a full playlist link down in the comment section below if you like this type of content please consider donating to the channel's ko-fi page down in the description box below buy the boy a coffee cut keeps me some sort of sane but anyway let's go ahead and listen to the demo of losing face the other demo of losing face and just like the last one, I scrolled through the comments a little bit, and people apparently really, really love this one. Apparently, this one is super emotional and raw as well. So I am super excited to check it out. And yeah, here we go. Fuck you, one, two. Way more up tempo than what we listened to earlier. Ooh, and that percussion too. Cool. First and foremost, let it be said. I was gonna wait for you. So this is not an act of spite, but a visceral coming to. She wrote an album. And that's something that I can't do. What I can do is spin the truth. And it all leads back to you. Weirdly, this one fear feels so much more angry than studio version as well as the version we listened to where it's just more slow somber uh, like two days ago. This one feels so much angrier. And I don't know if like that's the tone of Wilbur's voice or if it's the fact that we have that added extra percussion element in there. The like we're, I'm, we're only 40 seconds in, yet this is already giving me this is more angsty vibes. There we go. The percussion super cool. Yeah, no, uh, Wilbur's angry in this version. Like, oh, this past the, the chorus of this, like, maybe he's more drunk in this one. I've heard people say, oh, he's actually drunk in this one compared to more in this one compared to the last one. But, like, dude, like, he's more, like, delivering more aggressive vocals in this version. And I am so for it. I love it. Like, all this sounds amazing. I love the one we listened, the slower version we listened to two days ago. But this one, it's it's weird. Because, like, I also love this one more than what we got on Your City Gives Me Asthma. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's more angry. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, no, I see it. I see it. Like, oh, geez, this is a very raw version. Like, all I needed to hear was that line there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You can hear the emotion in his voice. Can he break me? Can he break you? Well, I don't know what I'm to do. Yes, I don't know what to fucking do. Yeah, no, he sounds more drunk in this one. <laughs> but, oh, geez, like, there is so much raw emotion. Especially in that last verse and vocal delivery. It, like, it just adds a whole different element to this song. Like, oh, like, I love this. I understand now why you're like, listen to this version. Oh, guys, this is insanely good. Like, I love it. Mainly because, like, of these raw vocals and, like, you can hear... Wolber's powering emotion in there. It's so good. It is insanely good. I I'm a loss of words. I love it. Angry. Angry Wilbur. Angry Wilbur, man. Losing faith. That's so good. It's so good. Losing. I love it. And something I really love about the song is like, you know, we get the driving force of the whole song, then we get this pretty finger picking at the end. Absolutely love it. Every version to listen to. Don't care. Won't you care? As long as you're happy, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, this was insanely good. I think this might be my new favorite version of it. Like, I understand. I 100% understand the hype behind this particular version now, and I'm on board. I love it. Like, I said last version was my favorite version. This, though, completely different twist. Like, so much angry. You can feel the raw emotion of Wilbur in this. I love it. I love it. It weirdly has a thing about it that in like this, the version on Tuesday, I mean Thursday, yeah, two days ago, has the thing about it that the studio version of it is the worst version of it. It still makes excellent version. Your City Gives Me As version of Losing Face is insanely great. However, there are two better versions of it to just exist online that's not on Spotify. And it's like... It's a weird thing that, like, there's that it shares with 21 Pilots. Like, the best version of it, the worst version of Heavy Dirty Soul is the one that's on Blurry Face. The best version are on different albums because Tyler screams. This is the best version of Losing Face because there's so much more emotion and Wilbur is so angry in this one. And the one we heard two days ago is also a great version because you can still feel the emotion in there. Like, of course, your city gives me asthma, you can feel the emotion in that one as well. However, these two versions that we just listened to in the, in the days of each other, they are so amazingly good. They are better than the one in your city gives me asthma. And this version in particular, Chef's Kiss. Love it so much. And, ah, uh, I love it. I love it, and I understand. Thank you guys for suggesting this one. But yeah, that brings us to the end of another episode of me listening to Losing Face 
for the third time. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, there's still more Wilbur to check out, I think. People have said, hey, why don't you listen to his covers? That is definitely on the table. But there's probably some more Wilbur things to listen to throughout this whole excursion. Maybe there's more demos to check out. I don't know. By the way, I'll see you all on Monday with something. I'll see you all then. Goodbye. And more importantly, have a good day. And I'll see you later.